Hey guys, Scare9 here, and welcome back to my channel today. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at five Easter eggs found in the Homecoming mission within the beta for Destiny 2. Now, a couple of these are going to be pretty simple, but a few of them are actually very hard to catch, and I bet a bunch of you did not. Either way, I am extremely excited for this video, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, a lot of people obviously know that you can see the raised lighter on Shax's back. However, there are two other instances of returning exotics that are not as noticeable. So, the first one is that every one of the Crucible bots is wearing the Twilight Garrison, and the harder one to catch is that you can actually see the Kvostov in the armory that Lord Shax leads you to. This is pretty cool because it's something that we've been asking for quite a long time. Will exotics be returning from Destiny 1 into Destiny 2? Now, of course, this does not directly answer that question, but it's still a really cool nod to the exotics that a lot of us spent a lot of time using within Destiny 1. The next easter egg has to do with the purple ball that used to be in the tower. In the homecoming mission you can actually find the destroyed deflated version of this ball on these steps. Now it looks like that one of the cabal pods actually landed on it and it was just popped. And this is just a really cool easter egg and it gives a lot of people a reason to want to fight the cabal. As silly as this seems, it almost seems like this is kind of a reference to that by the game developers. I think they realized quite a few people weren't invested in the story of Destiny 1 just because the story wasn't that readily available available, but a lot of people got attached to this time killer of the purple ball. So I think the joke is that a lot of people won't see the invasion as such a huge deal or a huge loss, however once they see that their favorite pastime from Destiny 1 was destroyed, they'll get kind of angry at the cabal. Now those were the two easiest easter eggs for this video, now let's go ahead and get into three of the ones that you would only see if you're a pretty hardcore fan of Destiny. Now this next one has to do with the song Paul McCartney wrote for Destiny 1 called Hope for the Future. Now, if you guys aren't aware, he did do this single specifically for the game of Destiny, and you could go down to the Hunter's Bar near Dead Orbit and play this song from the jukebox. Now, in the Homecoming mission, they actually paid homage to this. If you go over to where the staircase would usually be, but is blocked off by a door and listen, you can actually hear a version of the song being played but it is heavily distorted due to the machine probably being broken during the invasion. It's still a pretty cool easter egg, and I'll let you guys hear a clip of it right here. But that is the same song that Paul McCartney did write for Destiny 1. It's just slowed down. It has a couple other distorting effects on it because like I said, they're probably trying to suggest that the machine got broken, but it's a really cool nod to this single. The next easter egg has to do with everyone's favorite robot, Sweeperbot. Now in Destiny 1, if you stood next to these sweeping bots, you could occasionally hear them attempt to whistle, and then they would proceed to say, whistle protocol broken, as in this clip here. Whistle protocol broken. Well, they actually did a really cool nod to this audio line in Destiny 2 because if you stand next to the one sweeper bot we actually have access to, he can whistle very well, as in this clip. So that is pretty cool. Sweeperbot has become something of a meme in the Destiny universe over the past couple of years, and it's pretty cool that they're paying homage to a fan favorite line by doing this. And now we have reached the fifth and final easter egg in the homecoming mission for this video. Now in one of the first cutscenes for Destiny 2, you finally break through the clouds and you see the city for the first time in this game, and you see the Cabal absolutely raining destruction upon it. This scene is very important to the base narrative of the game because it lets you know that there is some type of invasion going on. And it's not just a small scale invasion, it is an absolutely massive attack on the city. However, this cutscene serves another purpose. It actually parallels almost perfectly the first cutscene where you see the Traveler in the tower in Destiny 1. I'm going to play them side by side in the video here, and you can see that they are nearly beat for beat the same cutscene with different effects going on. In addition, whenever you finally burst through the clouds, in Destiny 1 you had this feeling of hope. There's this magnificent city, a giant traveler, it just speaks hope. But in Destiny 2, whenever you burst through the clouds, it's all despair. There's zero hope there. The traveler has some type of device on it, the city's on fire, the tower looks broken, there's giant cabal ships everywhere. It gives off a very different tone by using almost an identical scene, which is such an awesome concept. This is something I hope they continue to do within Destiny 2. Obviously, we haven't seen that much of the game yet, but I hope they continue to parallel and kind of reverse different aspects of Destiny 1. Wherever we felt hope in Destiny 1, we should not feel it in Destiny 2, and they should showcase that by giving us cool parallels like this. But those were the five 
five Easter eggs within the homecoming mission in the Destiny 2 beta. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know which of these was your favorite down in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like rating and to share it with your friends. If you are interested in seeing either of the two videos on screen, you can click their respective annotations to be taken to them. If you guys are brand new to my channel, make sure to hit the giant version of my logo to be subscribed for more awesome Destiny 2 videos and live streams. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you in my next video.